Jared, yes. can I ask, uh, what would the 12, season 12 Jared um, tell season 1 Jared? <laughs> <laughs> uh, always keep fighting. <laughs> um, uh, stick, stick it through. There was a lot of season 1 and season 2. And people, for a long time, Jared kind of had trouble with going away and being away from friends and family. It, it, it sort of mirrored Sam's life. I was like, oh, I didn't know we'd go to Vancouver. Vancouver was beautiful. But I was like, I just finally like, got a magazine subscription. And now like, I'm going to have to have my neighbor pick. Like, stupid stuff. But I think a lot of Jared was pushing back on what he knew was inevitable, um, as Sam was. And I would just say kind of take the long way. There's a lot also, I'm not an old man by any means, but life is very different at 34 than it is at 22. Um, and especially very different when you've got a two and four year old. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say play the long game. You know, we've got this storyline with Mary now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. I think about that. Thanks for reminding me. Jeez. <laughs> actually, I, I don't mean that in a horrible way. No, I know. I mean, in terms of you being able to actually be in a place where you can kind of look at the storyline in a different way. Sure. Tell me a little bit about how you're interested in what that's going to do to Sam and the breath of Yeah, uh, great question. Um, I feel like for Sam, it's the first time we're going to see him as a son. Because he didn't have that relationship with his dad. You know, it was more fun and and contentious. And he wanted to be away from his father. The irony is, is that it's probably more mom's fault than dad's fault that we ended up where we are. It was her lineage. She was the, the camels around her. And, um, so... Sam used his dad as a scapegoat for many years. Uh, I think Sam's gonna have to come to terms with the fact that it wasn't all his dad's fault. Uh, and Mary had the situation been flipped, had John been killed, Mary probably would have done the same thing. And exact vengeance as well. Uh, on the plus side, I think the boys have realized that through all the thick and thin, uh, they've helped people and made the world a better place. <laughs> I think we had many lines lately in the last couple seasons, even this year, we're like, you know what, this is our life. Our family hunts and we're hunters, this is our life. You can fight it all you want, but uh, I think the world's a better place for it. Um, beyond the relationship yeah. with Mary, what can you tease about Sam's evolution individually and with Dean this season? I think, I think through his, his relationship with Mary, we learn a lot about Sam. Because I think Sam learns a lot about himself. He was always sort of wanting to be the lone wolf. Get me out of here. You know, get me out of home. I'm going to college. I'm going to do things my way. Now he's in a situation where his mom's back in his life and he wants to learn more about his family. You know? like he, knew his, he knows his brother pretty kind of well, but he didn't know a lot about where he, where he really came from. I think he had a conversation with John. Uh, and so I think in recounting to Mary kind of what's happened in the last 30-something years of Sam's life, I think he's going to learn a lot about himself and realize like, what he's done and it, kind of crazy, cool retrospection. Like, hey, Mom, here's how I've been for the last 30-something years. You won't, you won't believe this, but I think he'll learn a lot about himself in the process. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks, you guys. so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Ciao.